guys? Welcome back to Life on Earth. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to be talking about Swiss watch exports for the month of March. Um, there were some uh, <laughs> quite uh, interesting results. Unfortunately, they went in the negative direction, which is what we predicted in the last video where we discussed the results from February. We actually are trying to cover a little bit more of Swiss watch exports in general. So we actually have a playlist if you want to check it out to see what the trend has been since uh, late last year and then obviously the beginning of this year. Obviously, COVID-19 has had a huge effect on these numbers, and that's exactly what we're going to be discussing today. But before we get into that, be sure to smash that like button for us for the fact that Swiss watch exports are down. Every like every like um, ends up going to uh, towards the uh, towards hopefully the recovery of Swiss watch exports. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like these types of videos. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to discuss the uh, export numbers from February to give you an idea of where we're coming from and then I'm going to discuss the numbers that were released for March I've got my computer right in front of me. You saw me almost drop it, which was would have been bad um, So if you haven't seen our article where we um, or our video where we discussed watch exports from February of 2020 Obviously they were down. They were actually um, de They declined by 9.2% year over year um, um, so um, down 9.2% um, a year. The 12 month moving average was around 3.4% uh, growth. So um, <clears throat> kind of in line with what it's been for the past year. Um, if you look at the um, watches by value and by units, uh, the change in value and the change in units um, sold, every single price category from 200 Swiss francs all the way up to 3000 Swiss francs were down both in value and units. So it wasn't a great month um, for Swiss watch exports. What was interesting about this is a lot of people thought that this really didn't bake in um, the actual impact of COVID-19. February was kind of the start of when it started to get quite prevalent, and so they didn't think they thought March was going to be a lot worse, and that was what I kind of predicted in, in this article. I predicted, you know, COVID-19 is really going to take a toll on this, and um, it's going to um, really have an effect on on these watch exports, and that's exactly what ended up happening. Um, if you look at March of 2020, um, it was a tough, definitely a tough. A very very tough uh, month. Um, exports fell, uh, decreased by 21.9 percent to about 1.4 billion Swiss francs. Um, this is a huge decline in, in exports, double digit ex uh, decline in exports. Um, volumes fell by about 43 percent, um, which is again really really um, intense. If you look at wristwatches, they were down 21%. Other products were down 36%. So coming in at around 1.4 billion, um, huge, huge declines. If you look at the 12 month moving average, 12 month moving average actually went closer to zero. Um, this is the lowest it's been in, in 12 months. And it's, um, it, I don't know if it's negative. The, the chart doesn't, isn't really as descriptive as, as I'd like it to be, but it looks very, very close to zero, if not at zero or below zero, which is, um, you know, uh, I think it's a, the, the trend, um, what's going to end up happening this year. I think, economically speaking, we're not going to really have a recovery, and I don't expect Swiss watch exports to really recover either. I think they're going to remain pretty pretty fragile, and 12-month um, booming average will probably remain around that, that mark. Um, if you look at wristwatches by metals, the, <laughs> the ones that were hit the most were um, steel watches, which were down by 29%. Obviously, steel watches are what a lot of people are trying to get their hands on, so it makes sense that they were down the most. Um, the category titled Other Metals is also down, was down quite substantially, to thir down 34%. Um, across the board, everything was, was down, except for gold and steel, which was up by 0.7%, which I thought was interesting. It probably just has to do with the fact that a lot of people don't buy two-tone watches, gold and steel two-tone watches, so the change in, in that really probably didn't play, play much of an effect on it. Um, I did find it interesting that precious metals didn't go up. I would be interested to see what um, gold watches ended up doing, uh, solid gold watches ended up doing. Obviously gold has rallied over the past couple months because of this pandemic. It's a safe haven for a lot of investors and I'd be interested to see if uh, gold watches ended up doing the same thing. If we look at the main markets, uh, typical, your top six typical uh, markets, US, China, Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore, and the United Kingdom, we're all in the top six. Um, U.S. and China were actually, U.S., China, and Japan were all up. Uh, U.S. was actually up by 20%, which I thought was interesting. Probably um, has to do with uh, online sales, maybe. That's my, my best guess, perhaps being that they were at a discount from February numbers. 
perhaps they would uh, be able to purchase them at, at discounts. That's my only real guess when it comes to that kind of number. Um, not really sure about about why um, there were there were still um, uh, increases. I guess these are year over year numbers, perhaps. I don't know. Um, so yeah, typical typical players there. Um, four of those six coming from Asia, which is obviously a very common trend there. We'll move over to the price categories. If you look at the price categories, uh, every single price category was down. Um, obviously, some hit worse than others. Um, below 200 Swiss francs, they were down by 45% in units, 40% in uh, value, 200 to 500, 55% down in units, 54% down in, in value, 500 to 3,000 down, 38% in units, 35% in value, and then the last one above 3,000 Swiss francs, down about 10% in units, uh, 12%, 13% in value. Um, the, the above 3,000 Swiss francs really held on. Again, that I think is a testament to um, the fact that uh, these types of watches really hold their value qu quite well. If you think of anything above 3,000 Swiss francs, think that Rolex holds a lot of value, that Clip holds a lot of value, uh, Omega to an extent hold, holds great value. But overall, you're looking at a decline of 43% in units, 21% in value. I don't think you really understand, like, Think about that conceptually. Uh, watch exports were down by 50%, so that means half of what they were exporting um, a year ago, were, they basically wiped that out. That's that's insane to think that's the growth uh, year over year. Um, it, it's definitely being being hit pretty hard. Um, I'm gonna go over to some of the other markets that were, were there. Um, again, top three, US, China, Japan, all up for, for March, um, up 20%. 21%, 11%, and 2%, and then from about four down to 15, it's all double-digit, um, uh, double-digit declines, um, which is uh, pretty intense. Uh, there was something that I thought was kind of comical uh, about this uh, this report. If you look at number 25 in the uh, March um, export numbers, uh, Ireland was actually up over 1,000%. Um, their their exports were at 0.1 million, so that's a hundred thousand, uh, hundred hundred thousand Swiss francs worth of exports up one over one one thousand percent. I thought that was funny. Um, clearly, someone's buying watches in Ireland. Um, I thought it was a little comical, um, but it's nice to see at least some type of positive news that that uh, that comes out of out of these numbers. Um, moving on to what I think um, is going to happen. Uh, next month, and I think this is a, a common thing. I think we're still going to see the effects of COVID-19 there as to, as of right now, which is is the 21st of April, which is when these exports were released. There still is not a cure or a um, or a vaccine for the COVID-19 um, virus. So um, we're basically going to see well into this month. That, We've been in we've been in shutdown, and I think you know it's the 21st now. Nothing's really come come about, so I think watch exports are still going to be um, hit by the effects of COVID-19. We have nine more days or uh, ten more days of this month. Um, sorry, nine more days of this month. So <clears throat> that means we're still going to be be in lockdown. I know that some countries are are letting people um, uh, return to their try to return to normal normal lives with with some precautions put in place. I don't think that's really going to have an effect on, on stimulating the economy. Really, what what, end, what ends up being the most important thing here is people's safety, and people have to feel secure and safe, and, and feel safe enough that they can go out and, and continue their lives as they normally were, and go to restaurants, and and uh, go to cafes, and I don't think that's really going to come from, from people just, from governments just saying, you know what, let's, let's try and get back to normal, so I think April's going to be hit pretty hard. Um, I don't... I. I would say double digit um, declines for sure. Um, I think the US is probably gonna, gonna hurt a little bit more. I think double digit um, increases here were, were uh, some of the uh, lagging, uh, some of the lagging information that for the US, you know, things were still open uh, in, in the US. So um, probably was the beginning of the month that stimulated that 20% growth for them. But I think April is gonna be, um, I think it probably will be negative for, for the US. Um, I think, um, I know that a lot of Swiss watch companies are halting manufacturing, so with the halts in manufacturing, that means no watches are actually gonna be produced. No watches are gonna be bought by retailers, so exports are not gonna be that high. 
it's going to be a tough another tough results uh, another tough results release for for them um, that report actually comes out on the 28th um, of next month so a little bit of time until we we can go over that but i'm looking forward to going over that um, if you haven't checked out our our videos where we discuss last month and the months before prior export results for the swiss watch industry be sure to check those out uh, we have a playlist but they're probably also in the uh, suggested videos in, our, in your side panel or right below this video so be sure to do that also while you're looking for those be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like these types of videos as well as hit that like button for the fact that <laughs> these watch experts were bad but let's try and give the, the swiss watch industry some love by smashing that like button also let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about these results they're pretty rough um hopefully there's a recovery but we as a watch community are strong so we'll, we'll be resilient and come back stronger so i know that for sure um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time